Uh, this chapter is called Applying the Word, Applying the Word of God in Life. Okay, now, James 1 says uh, that uh, if we look at the Word and we don't obey the Word and we don't carry the Word through, we deceive ourselves. No one would like to um, be carried away in self-deception, would they? Uh, you know, I had the same apostle I mentioned uh, another time. He said that uh, who's a deceiver? And everyone, you know, a couple of people put their hands up and they said Satan. And he turned to James 1 and uh, said, um, said that no, uh, oh, my Bible was here, it's not here. Uh, he said to James 1, chapter, uh, verse 18 or something, and he said, Be doers of the word, not just hearers only, deceiving yourself. He said, Now who's a deceiver? And someone said, Ourselves. And he says, Okay, that's right. When you hear the word of God and you don't apply that word of God, you're deceiving yourself. Now, let me tell you, there's a lot of knowledge in the word of God. There's a lot of knowledge of the Word of God. People have been to Bible college and, and, and learned the Bible, and pastors have been to Bible college and learned the Bible. What makes an effective pastor isn't his knowledge, it's the practical application of that knowledge. If you can come to him with a problem and he can give you a scripture and, and a story of how he applied that scripture in his own life, that scripture can work for you. Now, knowledge by itself just puffs up. And the scriptures say that knowledge puffs a person up. And knowledge puffs a person up with pride. The more knowledge they know, the more prideful they get. So knowledge by itself puffs up. But what is wisdom? Wisdom is the application of knowledge of the Bible. Wisdom is the practical application of knowledge. So what do I mean by that? I mean... Just like a push bike is by itself standing against a wall. It can look pretty pretty standing uh, against a wall. It can look okay standing against a wall. But a push bike is only useful if you get on it and go for a ride. While the Word of God or your knowledge, uh, you can have a bookshelf full of knowledge of the Word of God. You can have uh, a, a bookshelf with three different cut pretty Bibles on it. Uh, you can have uh, certificates on your wall saying you've got a doctor of theology. They're all things that look pretty, like the push bike. The only thing that's useful, the only thing that's useful for anything, is the practical application of that knowledge. Uh, I uh, live in the practical application of the Word of God. A righteous man's steps are ordered by the Lord, as Scripture says. That means if you're righteous, your steps should be ordered by the Lord. Now, I say very few Christians live step by step being ordered by the Lord. A lot of Christians uh, live step by step ordered by themselves. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. Now, most people, a lot of people, let's say, are leaning on their own understanding. They make their own decisions and hope that Jesus is on board with their decisions. But this scripture, trust in the Lord with all your God, lean not on your understanding. The, the Holy Spirit speaks through your heart, through, speaks through your heart and your intuition. This scripture says, trust in your heart, trust in what the Holy Spirit tells your heart and follow that, not what your mind, your own understanding. Don't trust what your mind says, what's logical. Trust what your heart says, what God wants you to do. And many things God wants you to do goes completely against the flesh and goes completely against wisdom. This verse says, Proverbs 3, uh, 5 to 6, says, trust in your heart. Okay, so that's applying the word of God. You need to apply the word of God in your life. I'll see you in the next chapter.